At LMC, we have several SLOs, the first of which is communication. This is done on purpose. We believe that communication is the cornerstone for our SLOs. Students have a lot of anxiety, a lot of fear. They've gone through a lot uh, in their math experience, and most of it hasn't been great. And whenever you go through truly a traumatic experience, the best way out is through communication, is through talking. So not only is, are we talking about communication on word problems and, and through packets, but also just in class, talking about what's going on in your lives and how does it relate. Coming back to the math problems, in having a student talk about what they are thinking and their thought processes, oftentimes that can allow a student to open up their mind to what they already know. With the communication SLO being a graded concept, that further gives students the comfortableness and feeling of safety that, yes, not only is it okay, but actually I'm supposed to talk about my reasoning. I'm supposed to, which is a very big paradigm shift in most students' minds. It does take some getting used to, but we found time and again that focusing heavily on communication and the grading thereof can really help students open up and reach their own potential and pull some of that previous knowledge they have as adult learners. So communication can come in many forms, but usually through homework is through writing. Um, we have a strong connection with our English department in the Reader Apprenticeship Program, and they focus a lot on not only writing, but um, reading as well. Uh, the two are linked, and we try to focus on that um, through our communication SLO. We want students to not just say minutes, but the number of minutes spent on this, pro on this uh, project or the distance traveled from here to San Francisco. We want complete sentences because forming complete sentences in your mind brings you to a higher elevated thought processes as well. No longer is it just a quick, small answer that doesn't mean anything. To commit yourself to writing a sentence, commit yourself to the problem, and commit yourself to understanding what's going on. We're hoping that as students write more and more sentences, they start reading those sentences and seeing, does that make sense? Uh, is what I'm writing relevant to what the question is asking? For an instructor to truly make the change from traditional teaching um, to student-based teaching, to reform math, to focusing on SLOs, um, requires a, a leap of faith initially, but soon it becomes the embodiment of the person's um, pedagogy. Not only are curriculum um, developed that focus on communication, but just in general, the class becomes uh, more focused on communication. Communication is two-way. So uh, not only is there uh, some you know, dissemination of information, but there's a ton of group work. Um, and, and from the student's perspective as well, uh, having students write their own thinking on how the class is going and giving it to the teacher, and the teacher looking at that writing and coming back to the students with you know, their thoughts on what the students said. Um, not only having communication uh, or, or speaking be one way, but um, having students bring it back the other way uh, is, is a core concept of communication. What we're talking about is the transcendence of communication as an SLO. No longer does it have to be something that's only related to curriculum. Now we can focus on how communication and how this SLO permeates in every single thing that you're doing in your classroom. And once that belief is brought to the heart of this teacher, uh, the students will see it and the students will, will rise to the occasion as well and start using communication in their uh, relationship with math.